So this is 70 years. The three, four, seven, eight skip. Okay. All this is in the Torah. And, uh, you know, let's see if, um, are you centering it? Are you going to center the access term? That makes a difference what it finds, right? Um, oh, there you go. Oh, I was just looking at my thing. So now I see yours. Yeah. See, that's the fun of it is we can all be working on a program and this is cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun already. So let's see. Um, the videos. I'm gonna put that somewhere out of the way. Mm. Where are we at here? Devarim. Devarim. We probably put a no skip on it. Look there. Yeah. See how I just did that? I was snooping. I had it centered right here. And just by shifting over, because I could tell just by the numbers over here that I was in and around the chapter where end of days appears. So we've got that in the, in the matrix itself. Very low there. And I'm sure this is where it says, let me tell you what happens to your people in the end of days. Hmm. See. In the Torah. Yeah. Start from Jacob. I got a table. I found one. Mm -hmm. A combination of fig tree and favor put forth in balm. Fig, the fig tree... Uh, Tav, Aleph, Nun, Hey, and then f uh, flavors. Flavors? <laughs> Spice by implication to embalm, to ripen. So the fig tree ripens. It's kind of grand green, green fig tree. So I have it uh, Tav, Aleph, Nun, Hey, Het, Nun, Tet, Hey. Uh, eight eight letters and I've got two tables out of that one at a small ELS of 6754 and another large one at 35,818 and what is that term? fig tree buds, favors, ripens it's from Songs of Solomon verse uh, uh, chapter 2 verse 13 if somebody wants to look at that Songs of Solomon, ver, uh, chapter 2, verse 13. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on the smaller table because it's... We're doing small tables here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if anything just gets in the way. In is Rael. Right there. In Israel. <clears throat> the 
Has anybody else found this that has a torus off or have you found this? Ann? Are you looking for uh, No, I found, I found it in the um, keys. So yes. I'll go to far. Sorry, I was just looking up the Song of Solomons for Chris. Oh, no, no I'm sorry. I'm just wondering if you'd, if you'd look for that same one. I'll pull it back up here again. Yeah, I found it in the keys, but I didn't uh, get to Taurus off yet. Just one second. You got yours up. You've got yours found, Chris. You want to pull up a screenshot? I'm not used to working together. We're usually in our own little worlds. Yeah. Let's look at <laughs> the scripture now. So the fig tree puts forth her green figs and the vines with the tender grapes. Yeah. Give a good fragrance. Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Mm. Yeah. So that's where you got your, your word spelling. Is that right? Yeah. I took the hay off here and just added these four letters and these four letters. Can you see my inner linear scripture analyzer? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I added the ta Tav, Aleph, Nun, Hey, Het, Nun, Tet, Hey together. And that's what I got right here. And I've gotten two tables, one at 67, 54, 35. Oops. <laughs> Pardon me? Sorry. I usually cut him out before he says anything, but I didn't make it. <laughs> the birdie. Yeah, that's Petey. Look at that. Look at that. The in, in Songs of Solomon, the word flavor she flavors <laughs> to spice, to implication, to embalm, open, to ripen. And, and the first verse here in the table, right in here, <laughs> look what it's talking about. I, I, am, uh, I am come into my garden, my sister, my spouse. I've gathered my myrrh and my spices. I've eaten my honeycomb with my honey and I have drunken my wine with my milk eat friends drink ye drink abundantly oh beloved <laughs> so you can see the associations with the the, the the access term and the scripture when it crosses you're gonna interesting <laughs> you know what um, I learned from Ariel uh, during this time of the kingdom and he said this couldn't happen during the first visitation of Yeshua. And he kept saying uh, it wasn't his time to eat um, honey, curds and honey. That will happen in the kingdom, in the restoration of the kingdom. There's a prophecy somewhere that says that. <clears throat> but he kept saying that. I just heard you read almost the very same thing that this uh, maiden is participating in. Yeah, that's from uh, Shir, Shir, S H I R, out of the Torah Soft mm -hmm. of Almost. chapter 5, verse 1. Oh, wait. Chapter 5. Song, Songs of Solomon, chapter 5. Mm -hmm. Verse one, yeah. I took a verse out of Songs of Solomon, and I'm I'm reading Songs of Solomon. It crosses. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. yeah, and if it's a small enough skip, you might be able to see those other verses in that uh, cylinder somewhere. Maybe, maybe. Mm. Okay, so now, I'll, did, uh, go ahead. A, did you do a row skip, Jonathan, with uh, it? or I didn't. I, I can't. No, I didn't know. Uh, you were talking about it, so I didn't know if you did. I thought I was going to, and then uh, I got distracted here for a second. <laughs> so, 
Let's see, 3478. Seventeen thirty nine. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> 70 years now what can we do with that the return issue both issue both how about that issue both and they will return is that the word moon um issue both issue both Look at that. Vertical. I like that. Of course, I should have been changing my colors because um, everything is blue. So those five letters literally say, and this is something I love about, about Hebrews. You can say a lot in just a few letters. Those, those five letters literally say, and they shall return. And uh, there it is vertical it's always important what about the tribes i mean can we name ephraim and oh yeah and we can do Reuben that. And yep let me choose the colors here look at that and they will return and the children of israel <laughs> is right there and they shall return, intersex, children of Israel. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> and see, uh, to, to, to go back to your question we had on the phone, you see how we've got two vertical anomalies here, Angela. This could be considered, um, technically, if we were looking for, and they shall return, we could have found that on this skip in 70 years would have been just to the left of that hidden. Yeah. But we found that first. <laughs> but so, you know, if you were looking for access terms and you look for this one, mm -hmm. uh, you wouldn't know that was there unless you search for it, but it would appear if you did. Very good. So this is Milhemma. So hello, my friend, Jonathan here. And if you're getting something out of this uh, presentation from myself or the students, uh, it may be a blessing. And uh, you want to know more about it, uh, contact us at thecodesearcher.com. If you'd like to be a part of it, we have room for students in our school. Uh, we are currently teaching students how to use three different software programs to search codes in, uh, in the text. Um, and we have room for students. We sure need you. Just uh, go to thecodesearcher.com forward slash apply or look for the, the link down in the bottom of this uh, the description box and there'll be one there. And uh, go and fill out an application. Talk to me on the phone and we'll get you enrolled. We really need your help. And if you just want to partner with this ministry, maybe you don't want to search codes or you don't want to learn Hebrew um, and you just want to support through donation, we would appreciate that. Um, we do this ministry full time. Um, doesn't bring a lot in through the YouTube, through um, the ads. 
So a portion of uh, this is supported by you guys. We don't do Patreon, um, but we do have PayPal, and you can support us that way. Or you can send something into our post office box. All of the information will be down at the bottom. We thank you for your support. May Yeshua bless you and keep you and uh, continue to watch. And please subscribe and share with your friends. Shalom. But so, you know, if you were looking for access terms and you look for this one, uh, mm -hmm. you wouldn't know that was there unless you search for it, but it would appear if you did. Very good. So this is Milhema, which is war. And uh, it's in the plain text twice on this one. But I did keep an ELS with close proximity to the access term, as you see there, which gives us three. And then we have in Israel, and then it's the same same term vertical here. We got right there, and they shall return. Let me color that yellow. So at this point, I'd be spending a lot of time just kind of scanning and seeing if anything jumps out that might be significant. Um, it's always good to recognize where you are to in the tour, as far as what's going on. So the mid bar and Devarim is where we are here. interesting because this is when they're in with Moses in the uh, in the desert um, mm -hmm. so, chapter story of Balaam and Balak right there <clears throat> That's for the end times too. Yeah. Twenty four six. You see how I'm going line by line. Question. Yeah. Um, in the uh, code center, uh -huh. it seems like it, it's more chaotic. What do you mean? 
um, it doesn't line up like um, basically more like horizontally and vertically. It's more like um, some kind of spread out. Spread out? That, you mean yeah. like at an angle or just kind of spread out? Yeah, like like this all over the place. That shouldn't be. You should have some sort of, um, you know, something that, like that. That that's just what I've seen from Charles tables. Yeah. Well, he. Um, I have. To say, I have it, his, I, his terms have been in an angle, uh, or or vertical, and the the scattered terms are the ELS terms that he found later, and it's because you might have a, a cylinder width that's very narrow. And so you'll get like a lightning bolt effect of this word going around the cylinder and the pattern it makes is like a jagged tooth, like a lightning bolt um, sometimes. And it looks like that it's kind of jumbled. But w w when you realize that you're looking at a word that is literally wrapped itself around the cylinder, and so it doesn't appear in a straight line. It appears like a jagged tooth design or stair steps or, um, you know, a lightning bolt or something is what, what, what it looks like to me. Okay. That means that um, there is no um, um, letters on either side of the axis turn because it's so narrow. And so you'll have a word that just literally, like I said, goes around that, that turn. And instead of seeing it appear like this, it appears jagged and all over the place, like one here, one here, one there, one here, one there, one there kind of like this and it's because those letters are making a sequence around that cylinder and that's where they stopped um, in the count because we're just counting the spaces in between letters okay yeah I, I have the program so I have to start fiddling around I've done something with it but not much the uh, within your access term you've got uh, shin, bat, iron, yod, mem. The shin that's right above the yod in the access term, shin and then bat and lama in the spaces in between. Mm. Uh, going, no, well, that one too, but you got starting at the shin going down uh -huh. in between the yod and the mem. And right. the bat, shin, bat, lama. Yeah. That spells limb or leg. And it says, as a, as a lady's train, as a tra trailing after her from an unused root meaning to flow, Sheb Shebel or Shobel. Shebel. Cool. And then uh, in between the, the Shen and the Noon in your, your access term, you have... Lamed Fanai Yahuwah. Hmm. Yep. Let's see what that is. Just as a um, just as a thought, when you said flowing, I thought of you know a land flowing with milk and honey. Look and at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. All right, we're talking about the return, right? The 70 years. Look oh, what it says right shall here. return. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Look at what it says. And the lamb shall be, be subdued before you, and then afterward ye shall return and be guiltless before you, and before Israel. And this land shall be your possession before you. But if you do not, do so, behold, and have sin against you, and be uh, your sin will find you out. Build your cities for your little ones, foals, and your sheep. Um, and, uh, let's see what it says before that. And you will is go. This Isaiah? No, that is um, the mid bar. So this is um, this is all about the Exodus, Numbers. right? This is about the Exodus in the Torah. But what it reflects is because it's encoded. Is, is, a, is another one's laid over it. And, that, and this is the end time stuff here. So um, it's very, it's very fascinating. And, and then it's going to name off the children. Look at that. The children of Gad, the children of Reuben. I uh, so suspect more would come. Oh, yeah. Uh, Look at that. Yeah. So um, 
And I then Ellie, what's going on uh, uh, here too? Before they go into the land, what do they do? They battle. They have to battle giants and in, in enemies of you. What? Giants in the latter days would be what? These big superpower governments and uh, the, the the way they control the little guy. I don't know. Just um, you know, spiritual comparison. That's very fascinating to see this run right through there. <laughs> um, it's a good good lesson. And, and the reason why I like to go line by line in the body of the access term, because about, you know, nine times out of 10, sometimes 10 out of 10, you're going to find things that just bam. And it's multiple lines that go through that seem to have a, a, a resonance with that access term. It's pretty good. So that's at this point. I stopped up here um, because Chris had seen that. Let's continue. Now, Re Revelation 9, verse 11, 9, 11, talks about Abaddon and Apollyon. Yeah. So yes. Apollyon does cross the access term. Oh, wow. It, uh, if, you, if I'm spelling it right, like Apollo is in there. Uh, let's see, it's A, uh, sorry, Aleph, Pe, Vav, Noon, Bob, and then if you just put a noon on the end, would that make a polyon? Yeah, like Apollo, it would. Apollo is definitely there, but how do you make it a polyon? Um, <laughs> the noon by putting a noon on it. Well, then it's it's there, and so yeah, you can put that in if you want. So it's um. All right, so it's running across this axis term. Yeah, at the bottom half, and that, and he is the king of the bottom. The, those scorpion things that come out of the bottomless pit yeah. in in the fifth trumpet, and they sting people. So, who knows if that's to do with CERN or something? You know, the bottomless pit or something that they're opening up. <laughs> who knows? But anyways, Apolly Apollyon, Aleph, Hey, Wa, Aleph, Hey, Wa. Aleph, Pe, Wa, Lamed. Lamed. Lamed, yep. Wa, Noon. Well, that's six letters, too. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. How about that? I wonder if this year is in there. Um, yeah. How do you? It wouldn't be something that? if it was vertical. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. so, right, so pretty much right here and in, in, through this, we're going through genealogies, and that's uh, that's pretty cool. Apollyon to face to face Yahua. I mean, he does well, in Revelation yeah. twelve. He does face right? Yahua. Um, I'm just thinking, I had this thought, I, if it's re re relevant, um, if you typed in Sophia. Sophia. Because, yeah, because Apollyon is connected to the Greeks, mm -hmm. and um, it might, well, does it, <coughs> does it come up? Yeah, I, Okay. okay. We'll look for that too. I want to see if this um, year's here. And look, it's almost vertical. Oh, wow. It's almost what, what vertical right there. Just one number over. <laughs> It'd be vertical. So that's pretty cool. The whole year is here. Okay. Yeah. And what wow. did you say, Sophia? I forgot how to spell that. I don't know. Uh, Sama it's like Steffer, right? Sophia? Yod Het. Yeah. Sophia. And this is the um the artificial intelligence robot. Um Yeah, name named after the Greek goddess of wisdom. Greek goddess of wisdom. There you go. I hmm. think so. It may or may not be there. Wow. It's not for us to determine. And it is, look, very small skip. Yeah, yeah. Sophia. Okay. Now where it's is because, it? It's in the because, marine. You, you know Plato and Aristoteles, they they Apollyon or Apollo was their god, 
and um, they like came with uh, I believe they were channeling wisdom from basically from the pit. Yeah. And that's philosoph philosoph philosophy, which is basically Sophia is philosophy. Mm -hmm. yeah. the same, same name. That's interesting. And uh, close proximity with war too. The the first the first words uh, so sooth out of Sophia that means the end. I've heard uh, Dr. Glazerson talk about that a lot. Where Yom Suf, the mm -hmm. Sea of Reeds, Red Sea. Well, Suf means the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Brother Scott, welcome. Hey, how you doing? Hey, Brother Scott. So we are working uh, as a group on a couple of different access terms. Currently, I have one up that we found as a group called 70 Years. Uh, and this is in um, relevance to uh, the um, return of uh, Israel and Israel in the land. Um, as a matter of fact, we do have that as they shall return as a vertical anomaly with the children of Israel that comes together in that. Apollyon also appears and uh, found Apollyon based on um, what is written in Revelation. Um, war is here a few times in the year. And Sophia, which is artificial intelligence. The, uh, the word annihilation or um, another word for it is... Uh, Extermination is in this table twice. Really? And uh, the spelling for it is uh, Het, Bav, Resh, Mem, Hey. It goes diagonal twice. That was uh, another table that Dr. Glazerson oh, had just vertical. put out. It's vertical right on war. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna. to. Yeah. Mm. One table that he put out was Holocaust 5778. I don't know if you'd seen that. Yeah, I did. And uh, actually, I, I found it. Um, me and Darla worked on it last night. Found all the tribes in it. Um, a couple of them in the praying text, but most of them are ELS. What was my access term? 70. That's it right there. So I want to keep... Um, the, the redundant stuff, you see what happened, the screen filled up. Most of that is going to be random occurrence because there are p-values for your letters. Okay, So you have to learn how to d distinguish proximity and smaller skip and, and the relevance to any kind of term. For instance, I kept the vertical anomaly, one, because it's a vertical anomaly, and two, because it stacks right on top of war. So we got annihilation and war coming together. And then you want to keep um, the smallest, obviously, which is 32 or 9, and they, they would probably be the best proximity and smallest skips all in one. Yeah. What I, what I was thinking about, like, you call it like what? Uh, redundant codes or redundant? It's, uh, it's uh, 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 random occurrence. There's an anomaly. Uh, it, it's yeah. a random occurrence. We can't get around that. And this is what the codes are hid in. They're hid in layering in, in ultimate infinite layers of random occurrence of things. Like you can find the word apple and orange in baseball probably in this in this table. But is it relevant to anything? Probably not. It's just something that is, you know, could be random. It could be part of a mesh of historical things that are relevant. Right? We don't know. Well, my, my, thought, my thought would be that Maybe you could find something, but it belongs to, like, an, uh, not like um, some trash or something, but something that basically belongs to another table. Right. This what? Yeah. So, I, I I look at it sort of like ripples in a pond, or like a spider web, or you've got a lot of things going on that are that are, yeah. you know, different perspectives, um, different ways of looking at the same event happening. Um, you, you could probably find in this like all kinds of stuff like Plato and Aristoteles or something, but that's like we, we what's, what's the access term again? 70 years, 70, 70 years, and they shall return. 
system. So these yeah. together um, is is setting the parameters for our. Um, um, yeah, so so like if if you would look for Aristotle and Plato, for example, that would be like off a subject. No, but as long as we see proximity to to like Sophia, if it's way over here, you know, it's then it's probably not related. But if you start yeah. seeing clusterings of words in close yeah. proximity to your access term, it's probably going to be related. Um, yeah. Okay, but, so I have uh, two different spellings. It, uh, apostate is in there twice with two different spellings. Apostate and um, apostasy. is No, it's apostasy that has two different spellings. And then apostate. Do you want any of those in there? Um, oh, do that, where do they come up? Does it come up in interesting? Um, well, yes. Apostasy crosses the access term. The first yeah. one does. It's a mem, yod, noon. Mem, yod, noon. Wa, ta. We note. Yeah. Ooh, la, la. And then another spelling for apostasy. It has. Um, most of the same letters, but it's a bit different. It's uh, six letters long. It's mem, wa, mem, resh, wa, ta. And it kind of touches one of the um, words that we had over at the side, destruction or um, extermination, I mean. You know that the name Apaton means destruction. Yeah. Well, <laughs> fit. And then yeah. apostasy or apostate goes diagonal over on the right hand side. Uh, hey, the great falling away in the end times. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. like apostasy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the man of the lawless one will appear, you know, around that time. That there's a great, he, he will not appear until there's a great falling away or something like that. Yeah. Doesn't and, it and say in Thessalonians or something? When, there's a, a denial. There's a denial of who Israel is and those who are involved. Right, and, that's not it, the truth. It, 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 may, it may be a more of an identity issue or, or, or forgotten who is Israel. Um, I don't know if it's intentional. Some it might be intentional. In in some cases, of some people want there to be um, forgetfulness, right? Yeah, I, I think. Uh, well, the scripture says that it's our heavenly Father that is causing the blindness. Yeah. So, and when He removes the blindness, be we evident. see who is who is going to follow after the truth, and who's just going to forget about it. Right. Oh, uh, that's the apostasy. I would imagine that's it. Hey, well, here's a cool word, apprentice. <laughs> apprentice. Apprentice. I would guess it's that there. It's, it's going across um, horizontally at the bottom. <laughs> oh, you have it. Yeah. You want to do a screenshot and show us what yours, uh, your screen looks like? Anne? Okay, I'm not putting every word in that I'm finding. I'm just kind of scanning, but I'll just let me yeah. move this thing aside. Yeah, you have you have this feature and keys to the Bible. Too. Yeah, we're looking at the same thing. Um, my access term, the fig tree budding. You know how if, what a fig tree would smell like in the spring when it's budding. That would be sort of what my my access term is kind of saying. And I have uh, uh, first. Proverbs, I think it is, Co Coalesh, or Ecclesiastes, pardon me. The, the words of the preacher, the son of David, king of Jerusalem, vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, vanity of vanity is all his vanity, but profit hath a man of all his labor which he hath taken under the sun. And listen to this, one generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. So you go, that's what the gener fig tree, when one generate, the whole well, 70 years is a generation.
And, and uh, in that verse, verse two, you have America coded right in the plain text. It's a part of a, uh, the, you got the Abbas effect going on here. And astronomy is in the table. Astronomy. Now that's that I got on. too. That's going to play a major. Uh, oh, that's um, ta, calf. Do we know why this plays a role, right? Revelation 12. And he communicates with the sun, moon, and stars. He's going to give us signs. And you have to have a level of astronomy, right, uh, to, to, to be able to understand this. Um, at least some, uh, some sort of knowledge of the Maseroth or the, or the uh, what do they call it in uh, the Zodiac? Yeah. Atomic is in there. Wow. Huh. <clears throat> well, the war we come into, I would uh, venture to bet it's going to be atomic. Right. So, this is like a full blown end time prophecy. What's augury? Isn't that I'd like to share this with uh, YouTube, guys. Um, if you don't have any, um, you know, say against that, 